chapter 98, the header. The religions of the world are all corrupt, yet have good roots, which is the primary gospel that they teach. The practice of religion during the millennium is discussed. Prayer will no longer be needed in the celestial kingdom, but the beings in the other kingdoms will still pray in righteousness and give thanks to the Father for all that they have received from Him. Humans will worship God by their works. 1. And it shall come to pass in the latter days that the people shall not receive their knowledge and understanding from these institutions of learning only, even those that have been set up among them, which shall teach them those things which pertain to worldly things, or circular studies, which deal with matters unassociated with faith. 2. For faith is the substance of things hoped for, things unseen that work to benefit the souls of the children of men. 3. And these things of faith shall be taught throughout the world, in the many religions that shall be set up in the latter days. 4. And these religions shall also have a form of godliness, because they shall have all the roots of the gospel which are true because they were given unto the people by the prophets of God, who were assigned to their specific cultures and period of time. Nevertheless, in the latter days they all shall deny the power of God, because of the great wickedness and deceptions of their leaders. 5. And in those days shall all the religions of the world be corrupt, because the people of these diverse religions are taught the precepts and concepts of faith by men who are uninspired and who do not have the true Spirit of God to guide them in their own understanding of His will. 6. For behold, no man can have the Spirit of God unless he liveth his life one with God. Yea, unless a man abideth by the laws of Christ, he cannot have the Spirit of God with him. 7. And because the power of Satan shall abound in the latter days, all the people of the earth shall be deceived in the matters of faith, in the same manner that they shall be deceived by their supposed knowledge of science and technology which they shall receive from Satan. 8. Behold, the inhabitants of the earth shall worship Satan as their God, and they shall call him their father and their Christ. 9. And because of the great power that Satan shall have over their minds, they shall not know that it is Satan whom they worship because they shall be led to believe that they are worshipping the true God. 10. Behold, instead of the religions of the world uniting the souls of all men and women upon the earth, they shall divide them, and they shall be at war one with another for dominance and preeminence among all the earth. 11. And the Christian shall rise up in his pride and condemn any who do not believe in Christ. 12. And the Muslim shall rise up and condemn all those who do not believe in Allah and his prophet Muhammad. 13. And the people of the great church of the beast, even the church known among you by the name of my father, shall believe that they alone have the truth, and that unless a man joineth this church, he shall not be saved. 14. And thus shall the God of the earth rule, and reign over the people of the latter days. Behold, Satan shall begin to divide the nations unto themselves, and cause great pride and boasting of one nation above another, because of the blessings which he hath given to the nations of the earth. 15. And the seat of Satan shall be glorified in the latter days above all other nations of the world, and from this throne shall Satan rule the world, and cause all to bow down before him, and worship him. 16. Yea, Satan shall inspire the children of men to separate their lives from God, having God in their thoughts, and in their lives only when they are not dealing in circular matters of government, education, and the course of activities that bringeth the temporary joy that is received from the blessings of Satan. 17. And the leaders of all the religions of the earth shall establish themselves with the beast, and they shall dress like the beast, and they shall perform all their works with the beast, so that they might be accepted by and given honor from the image of the beast that they represent in their examples to the members of their churches. 
18. Behold, ye shall know these leaders by their works. Yea, judge them by the words that ye have received in this record, even the words of Christ which he has spoken unto you, and of which ye have two testimonies in the book of the Jews, and also in the record of my father which was unsealed, and given unto you by the prophet Joseph. 19. I say unto you, set this as your standard of judgment. And if the leaders of your religions do not meet this standard set by Christ, then ye may know of a surety that they are servants of Satan, and that which they promote shall not give you the eternal peace and happiness that ye desire. 20. Behold, ye shall believe that ye feel of the Spirit of God in your churches when ye listen to the flattery and the deceitful words of your religious leaders. Yea, Satan shall mimic the Spirit of God, and cause you to weep, and feel a burning in your bosom that the church to which ye belong, or the religion which ye follow, is the true church of God. 21. Nevertheless, there is only one way that ye can be assured that the church to which ye belong is a true church of God. Yea, doth your church teach the words of Christ? Do your leaders follow the example of Christ in how they live their lives? Yea, do they have the power that Christ had, which is the same power that the twelve apostles had when they went throughout the land healing the sick and preaching the gospel without price to all those who would hear them? 22. Yea, is it required of you that ye give of your money to hear the word of God? I know that ye believe that it is not required of you to give, but that ye are asked to give by your leaders, so that God might fill your souls with his unspeakable mercy, which mercy your leaders do not speak of in truth, because they do not understand it. 23. And when they have received your money, what manner of lifestyle do your leaders pursue? Do they live like Christ? Do ye know of their houses and their fine things of the world, which they receive from the money that ye give unto them? 24. And there shall be some religious leaders upon the earth who shall deceive you in following them by their pretended works of Christ. Yea, they shall live poorly and dress humbly that they might prove to you of the dedication of their hearts to God. 25. But these shall not teach you to love one another and bless your enemies and do good to them that hate you and persecute you. Yea, they shall teach you to defend the holy name of your God and give your life by taking the lives of others in the defense of your God. 26. Now, these are not the works of Christ, nor are they the words that he hath given unto you. Behold, ye have the words of Christ, and now ye have my own testimony of these words, and also the testimony of the brother of Jared, who was accompanied by Jehovah in the vision which he received from the Father, pertaining unto all things that shall come upon this earth, since the days of its creation, until the time that it shall become a glory in the celestial kingdom. 27. Yea, ye have all of these testimonies, and ye also have the testimony of the Spirit that whispereth to you, that these things are true, and ye know that these things which have been revealed unto you in the portion of this record, which I shall seal up unto you, are true. 28. Yea, when ye read these things, your heart burneth within you, and ye marvel at the simplicity and truthfulness of these things. 29. Yet, even though ye shall know that these things are true, by the manifestations of the Spirit which shall testify of these things, many of you shall deny them, and reject them because of the many stumbling blocks that have been placed before you, because of your wickedness. 30. But this thing I shall prophesy unto those of you who receive these things, and who read them. Yea, after ye have read these things, ye shall no longer be able to find peace in any of the religions of the earth. Yea, ye shall begin to see the leaders of your religions and their works, and ye shall know that they fulfill all of the prophecies of the Lord concerning their wickedness, which are contained in the Holy Scriptures. 31. And ye shall begin to see things that ye have never beheld, and understand things that ye have never considered before.
32. And now, my beloved brothers and sisters, when my words are fulfilled within you, or when ye have felt these things, will ye still continue to deny the truthfulness of these things, which the Lord hath prepared for you, that ye might not suffer at his coming? 33. Behold, if ye deny these things, and go back to the evil of your ways, then ye shall never have peace again in your heart. And Satan shall try harder still to deceive you, and keep you in his fold. 34. Behold, if ye want the peace that the Father hath promised to all of his children, then ye must look to Christ and the things which he taught. 35. Do not look to the words of men for this comfort, for it shall not come from the words of any man. 36. Come out of the corrupt religions that are organized upon the earth, and prepare yourself for the day of the Lord, or for the day that ye shall die, and know of a surety that these things are true. 37. And now, during the millennium there shall be no religions upon the earth, yea, there shall be no governments upon the earth, except it be that government which the Lord shall establish himself when he cometh. 38. And there shall be institutions of learning set up throughout the earth, and these shall be the churches, and the colleges, and the universities that shall teach the students, and members thereof the truth in all things, whatsoever the Lord shall command to be taught according to the nation, or the kingdom in which each person shall choose to live. 39. And in the celestial nation they shall be taught the power and knowledge of God, so that they might use this power to help in the transformation of the planets into the kingdoms of the Father. 40. And these shall be taught how to command the elements, yea, how to heal with a touch. Even they shall be taught all things pertaining to the righteous works of the Lord. 41. And those who shall be set apart by the Lord to be the leaders over these seven nations that shall exist upon the earth, shall teach and administer the words of Christ in all things. And these are the only things that they shall teach the people, except it be the particular laws that pertain to the kingdom in which they live, according to their desires of happiness. 42. And the power of the Lord shall spread throughout the whole earth, and the manner that the children of men have been taught to worship the Father shall cease among them. For they shall no longer worship the Father upon their knees, but they shall worship him by their works. 43. For behold, the Father rejoiceth when he seeth that his children love one another, and care for one another in all things. And in this way shall all the inhabitants of the earth worship the Father and they shall be doers of the word, and not only hearers. 44. And then shall the words of the prophets be fulfilled when they wrote, saying, Pure religion that is undefiled before God, the Father is this, to visit the fatherless, and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. 45. Behold, my brothers and sisters, this is not only the pure religion, but it is the only religion that hath been, and is, and shall ever be accepted by the Father, even that ye should love one another as ye would have them love you. 46. Behold, do not think that ye shall fall down before the Lord in the day of his power, to worship him with your tears, and your humility, for if ye do this before him, he shall command you to arise and depart from before him. 47. And he shall command you to go, and do good to your neighbor, and love your enemy, and praise the Father for the wonderful blessings of life that he hath given to you. 48. For the Lord will not suffer his merciful smile to grace the eyes of a hypocrite, who in an effort to ease the pain and anguish of his misery, desireth a smile from the Lord. 49. But the righteous shall be constantly engaged in the work of the Lord, in doing good to others, and they will not think that it shall be necessary to fall down before him and weep upon him, but they shall see his smile as he passeth by them and witnesseth them engaged in his work, which is a work of love one for another. 50. And all the inhabitants of the earth shall know his name, 
and understand his words, for they shall be spoken unto all in plainness, so that there might be no error in the interpretation of them. 51. And they shall be written upon their hearts, and in their minds, and every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that he is the Son of the living God, who hath saved us from our sins, and hath come to prepare us to meet the Father, so that we might be ready to dwell in the kingdom of glory that we have chosen for ourselves. End of chapter 98